You know, those ridges on the sides of coins haven't always been there. Back in the 18th century, people would file the coins down to make new coins later, which is not legal. To win this, the U.S. Mint engraved ridges onto coins to show if they had been tampered with. The filing down of coins stopped, but the tradition has stayed. A picture frame that's fallen because one of the hangers has come off has a simple fix. No one will ever see it either. Grab the nearest soda can and bend the pull tab off. Then simply screw it into where the hanger broke. Bend the end slightly out and hang it back up. If you don't have space for a greenhouse, try soda bottle greenhouses. Each seed gets its own micro greenhouse. Just cut the bottom off the bottles and remove the labels so you can see them better. Remove the greenhouses once the seeds have germinated and cuttings are established. Orbit Chewing Gum is easily one of the most recognized logos in the entire world. It's got a neatly hidden symbol on the label as well. The capital O is split into two parts, one dark for the night and one light for the day, just like our planet orbiting the sun. Peeling garlic is probably one of the most smelly and annoying jobs of cooking. The peel sticks to everything, and your hands will smell like garlic forever. Well, simply pop the cloves into a microwave for 10 seconds, and they'll squeeze them right out of their paper shells. Or grab a jar, place the cloves inside, and give it a good shake. The peel will come right off. Many modern cars have color-coded engines, so you don't have to be a mechanic to find your way around them. The color-coded bits are usually marked yellow, blue, red, and green color. These are the things that you should keep an eye on between services, such as the dipstick, oil cap, coolant, brake fluid, and washer fluid. Pretty much leave all the black and gray stuff to the experts. Cutting cherry tomatoes can be a tedious task. One tomato at a time. There is a quicker way to do it. Try placing a bunch of them between two plates. Hold the top plate and carefully cut between them with your knife. Perfectly cut cherry tomato halves. Many color printers have added dots to printed documents without anyone even knowing they're there. They become more visible when magnified and photographed with the help of a blue LED flashlight. The position of the dots reveals the time, date, and a serial number of the device used during the printing. Next time you're on a plane and get the aisle seat, look for the hidden button on the armrest. Feel around near the hinge at the back and you should find a button. This releases the armrest lock, instantly allowing it to swing up. Once it's level with your seat, it won't press into your side anymore. It'll also give you more room to move your legs around. Flight crews are known to use a system of chimes and bells to communicate across the entire plane. These chime messages could be about anything from the number of remaining snacks, turbulence ahead, or a storm upcoming on the flight path. Sometimes the chimes can be a signal from the cockpit to alert a route change or an emergency. Fonts that we use to print documents actually used to be named after their creators. Garamond was named after its creator, Claude Garamond, a famous French printer who was commissioned by the King of France to create a new font. His font became the stock standard until the 18th century. Garamond is still one of the most economical fonts to use to save ink while printing. Nintendo Switch cartridges have a hidden safety feature that stops people from sticking them in their mouths. That's an issue? Eh, Apparently. Although non-toxic, denatonium benzoate coats the cartridge in a sour, peppery, and bitter substance to prevent people from swallowing them. Being one of the most bitter flavors known to humanity, it's commonly used to keep people from consuming things they're not meant to. A vegetable peeler isn't just for peeling potatoes, zucchini, or carrots. Try shaving onion for thin slices. This will speed up the process before getting teary-eyed. Perfect thin slices of cheese can also be achieved with the peeler. The eagle on the back of the dollar bill has 13 stars above it to represent the first 13 colonies. But that's not the only 13. There are 13 arrows, 13 olive branch leaves, 13 olive fruits, 13 stars above the eagle, 13 steps of the pyramid, and 13 bars on the shield. Strangely, but probably just a coincidence, the words Anuit Sepsis and E Pluribus Unum also have 13 letters. Lemons can be used as a deodorant, air freshener, polish, bug repellent, hair lightener, and to help rice not stick to the rice cooker or pot. 
Just add a little squeeze into the cooker before turning it on. How about that? Oh, and they also make pretty good lemonade, too. Copper and brass items start to look a little bit tarnished over time. Use some ketchup and salt to bring back that shine. Place the mixture into a rag and rub it into whatever needs that sparkle again. Cover every bit of the surface, then simply rinse off and dry. Forget trying to break your nails trying to open key rings again. Grab a staple remover, the one that looks like a mouth, and wedge its teeth between the coils to open it up easily. If the key or whatever you're putting on there still won't fit, just push down further until it's wide enough. Tap the home button three times on an iPhone to turn it into a convenient magnifying glass. Use the slider to control the zoom, and it even has an optional flashlight if you need it in the dark. Perfect for reading tiny print, finding interesting tiny insects, or maybe even looking closely at jewelry. Microwavable instant rice packets can fall over if not placed properly. Pull out the bottom flaps for a sturdier base and to cook that rice better. And what about that extra hole in the upper part of the sink? It has a name and everything. The overflow hole. And it's designed to keep the sink from flooding. So, in case someone forgets and keeps the faucet going for too long, or the sink gets clogged and water can't drain down from the main drain hole, the overflow hole comes in to save the day. Let's say it buys you a little time before you have the entire bathroom floor flooded. Have you ever noticed how satisfying closing the door of a car can be? Car manufacturers devote a great deal of time to designing these sounds. Studies have shown that they create a perceived sense of quality in the buyer. It all begins with the primary material. While older cars used to be made with heavier materials, car doors nowadays are produced with lighter tin, which can make a rather unpleasant metallic sound once you shut them closed. So car companies employ sound engineers to ensure that there is the exact amount of foam, mats, and tin in a car's composition to make the most comforting sound possible. And what about those tiny dots on the top of your car's front window? The pattern of these little black dots minimizes distractions for your eyes. This black part, also known as frit, normally gets warmer than the clear parts, which prevents the windshield from deforming. And no, the tab under your rearview mirror is not made only for the purpose of hanging fluffy dice or aromatic-pleasing air fresheners. It's actually a switch that allows you to adjust the position of the mirror depending on the time of day. Flip it one way, and it's the daytime driving mode. Flip the other, and you're ready to drive safely during nighttime as it tones down the glare coming from headlights of the cars behind you. Next time you head out to the supermarket, make sure to keep this in mind. In case you don't have a coin to unlock these shopping carts, there is a well-kept secret that can help you out. If you have your house keys on you, check for a rounded key head. If you happen to find one, try using it to unlock the cart. It should fit perfectly in there, replacing the need to carry coins around. Because, if we're being honest, who still has them? Elevators. If you want to ride them on your terms, and your terms only, make sure to try something out. Most elevators have a secret button combination you can use to skip all the other selected floors and go directly to the one of your choosing. This might work out, especially on those days when you press 13, but you wanted to press 33. On most elevators, this works once you simultaneously press the closed door button together with your floor number. This should help you get to your floor without stopping. Some elevators require you to double-press the selected floor numbers, as double-pressing will often cancel the previously made request, while other elevators require you to hold the open door button and then double-press the buttons of the floors you'd like to cancel. Now, to stay out of trouble, it's best not to cancel the floors of the other people in the elevator. They won't take it kindly. Also keep in mind that there are elevators that might not have this function. Now, for honey lovers out there, go ahead and raise your hand. If your pot of golden honey is crystallized, know that it is actually a good sign. Crystallized honey means that it hasn't been pasteurized, which means better product quality. With a decrease in temperature, the natural ingredient of honey, also known as glucose, will make it crystallize. Now, try making the best of it. To add some texture to your oatmeal or toast, add a layer of crystallized honey and enjoy nature's sugar. And if you don't like crystallized honey, plop it in the microwave for a minute or two. Ah, winter and fall. You know what this means, right? Sweater weather.
But there's nothing more annoying than wearing your beautiful wool sweater and itching yourself all the way through it. Actually, I can be more annoying than that, but let's talk about itchy sweaters. To keep this from happening again, here's the secret. Turn your sweater inside out and soak it in cold water. Add 2 or 3 tablespoons of vinegar and let it sit for a while. Then, drain the water. Now, while the sweater is still wet, massage a generous amount of hair conditioner into the fibers of the wool. After letting it soak in the hair conditioner for about 30 minutes, gently press the excess water out of the wool and leave it to dry flat on a towel. There you go! No more itchy sweater! Any fast food restaurant you go to will hand out small paper cups for customers to fill with their ketchup, mustard, or barbecue sauce. But if you're eating some chicken nuggets or trying to dip your burger into the cup, there's always that bit of sauce that seems impossible to reach. Next time, try unfolding the cup. It'll turn into a small paper plate, and this way, you'll get all the ketchup you poured in the first place. Padlocks used in outdoor environments should be clean and lubricated every three months. Regular lubrication will help prevent padlocks from freezing in cold weather conditions. Look for the tiny hole on the bottom of the lock. Then pour oil into it, and there you go! It opens again. One thing we often neglect is a point in an ointment cap. These pointy surfaces were designed to help us break the tinfoil protection of the ointment tube. You just turn the cap over and break the ointment seal with its own cap, and there you go. Tiny ridges on the F and J keys on the keyboard help your fingers navigate during touch typing. When your index fingers are on these ridges, you know exactly where other letters are. The brushes on the sides of the escalators are not for polishing your shoes, but for your safety. These nylon bristles prevent your laces and clothes from getting inside the escalator's gears. Now, that wouldn't be good. Most door handles are made of brass. This type of metal is good for fighting microbes. Bacteria can't multiply that much on such surfaces. These public toilets' cubicles don't look private for a reason. Huge gaps at the bottom were created to make you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thanks to this design, there are almost no cubes. You can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down. Just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. Sailors used them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. 
They make most clothes hangers from cedar wood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical, because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric and new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this ground plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. <clears throat> you're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate and all the grains will fall out through the hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin and the two ends should be directed back. Lay your head forward and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position. And you'll get a good nap. They create magnets in a horseshoe shape to increase their magnetic power. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part the north one. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction. Thanks to the perfect aviation design, most planes can fly a long distance even without an engine. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. Salt isn't just used for cooking. It can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed, so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. If you ever had problems with popping chocolates from the box, Look at those little holes around them. They're there to help you. If you push a hole right next to the candy, it'll jump out easily. When you take a sip from a coffee cup with a lid, it decreases air pressure inside the cup, so air tries to get in. The tiny hole on the lid allows air to enter that way, so liquid can smoothly pour out the main hole. More on beverage lids. The small button on them let restaurant workers, and customers too, understand what's in a cup. Near each button, there's a name. Just look at which one is pushed down. The numbers on the fruit stickers tell you how exactly they were grown. If there are four digits and the first is four or three, the fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five digits and the first is nine, the fruit has been grown organically. If there are five digits and the first is eight, the fruit has been genetically modified. When you're on your way back to the car after bagging up everything you bought, use loops on a shopping cart to hang the bags. Now softer items like bread, eggs, fruit and veggies won't get squashed by the heavier goods. If you don't have anyone to hold the other end of your tape measure when you try to measure something, tap a nail on it. Now, simply hook your tape on it using the tiny hole all tape measures have. The square-shaped spoon that goes with a McFlurry helps to mix the ice cream toppings through the dessert. The spoon hooks directly to a machine and spins around. Padlocks that are used outside quickly get out of order because of rain. See this little hole in the bottom? It's made for pouring engine oil inside. 
Do this and the key will again turn in the lock without any difficulty. You keep banging the bottom of a glass ketchup jar, but nothing's coming out. Here's a little tip. Turn your ketchup bottle at an angle and tap on the middle of the neck. In many fast food restaurants, customers fill tiny folded paper cups to get a portion of ketchup or mustard. Here's the news. The cups are supposed to unfold and turn into small paper platters to hold a great deal more sauce. That little hole on the handle of a pot or a frying pan isn't just for hanging them on the wall. During cooking, put the end of your utensil in the hole, and it'll be propped over the pot to save your kitchen from extra mess. The blue or any other dark color bristles on your toothbrush are meant to remind you when it's time to get a new one. If you see that bristles have become pale, change the toothbrush or its head. An extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, the water won't overflow and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster as it gives an escape for the air, helping the water flow down. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save you from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Spoiled milk emits gases, like most foods when they go off. A classic plastic milk jug has a concave shape on one side. So when the gases expand inside the jug, it expands too, and the concave shape curves out. Also, if you want to save some milk for later and freeze it, the jug will expand when the milk gets solid as well, occupying more space in a jug. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. It also helps regulate the temperature. The bubbles keep the water hot, so you can enjoy a bath a bit longer. Anyway, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat really fast either way. Many cups and mugs have little grooves on the bottom on purpose. They're designed for washing machines. The grooves let the water flow and not spill over your feet when you take the cup out. Also, those grooves let the air flow so the cup doesn't crack even if the tea is scalding. Airbnb's logo isn't a bent paperclip, as it may seem to be. Bello, as it's called for belonging, means more than that. There's a person's head, the location symbol, and a heart for love. All joined together, they make Airbnb's iconic A and symbol of togetherness. E120, or natural red 4 food coloring, aka carmine, is made from tiny beetles. It's been used to color anything from cakes to candy to even drinks. That shine on candy also comes from bugs. This time, it's the Indian female lac bug. The beetle leaves behind a substance that is scraped from the trees to be formed into dry shellac that gives that glossy look. The Mozilla Firefox logo isn't a fox at all surrounding the planet. It's a red panda instead. The name Firefox is the English translation of its Chinese name. Those maintenance covers in the street are round for safety reasons. In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, manholes, that's what they were called back then, were square-shaped slabs of stone. Unfortunately, these were prone to accidents. If they weren't placed properly, a square cover could slip through the square hole diagonally. Ow! Placing a round cover eliminated this problem. A circle cover won't slip inside because there are no angles. A tomato isn't technically a vegetable, but a fruit. Banana trees aren't related to palm trees or trees at all. They're herbs. Banana is considered an herb because it never builds a woody trunk the way a tree does. Instead, it forms a succulent stalk, like lemongrass or its cousin, ginger. You can call them berries as well. The Golden Gate Bridge color wasn't meant to be the orangey-red that it is today. The bridge's original color was suggested to be many other colors, such as black with yellow stripes or even candy cane to make it visible for passing ships and aircraft, especially in the frequent San Francisco fog. But when the steel arrived, covered in an orange primer to protect it from rust, the architect preferred the international orange color, and it stuck. 
Those legs on the back of keyboards aren't an ergonomic design to help your wrists sit better. Using the legs out for too long can tire and hurt your wrists, plus slowing your typing down. The hinge legs are just there to help you see the letters and numbers better if you don't know how to touch type. The color of a chili pepper reveals nothing about its taste or heat. The smaller a chili is, the hotter it'll usually be. The heat doesn't come from the seeds, as believed, but the white membranes that hold them. Hidden within the Toblerone logo of the mountain is the image of a bear standing on its hind legs about to eat that yodeler over there. No, not really. This is because bears are a big part of Bern, one of the biggest cities in Switzerland where the founder created the Triangle Chocolate Tree. Toblerone is also a play on the founder's family name, Tobler, and the Italian word Torone for honey and almond nougat. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. Not only are they protected better in their styrofoam cup, but it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Now, even though you might have thought that the hole in the barrel of a ballpoint pen had no purpose, it does. It's called a venting system, which helps the ink flow more smoothly. This way, an even amount of air pressure is created inside and outside the pen, allowing the ink to flow into the point easily. One of the most recognized logos in the cycling world has a hidden item in its famous logo. Inside the Tour de France name, a cyclist hides in the O, U, and R. Those metal brackets on the top of the nozzles in gas stations have a unique design put into place in case of accidents. If a dodo accidentally forgets the nozzle is still inside the gas tank and starts driving away, the magnetic brackets separate without damaging any part of the gas pump. Wendy's logo is designed off of the daughter of creator Dave Thomas. It's also named after her nickname, but there is more to the logo than that. Wendy's collar spells out the word mom. While unintentional, it became something to mean a homey feel more than any other restaurant out there. Finding the right lane to be in while driving for your exit can sometimes be confusing, especially in a foreign country. Pay attention to the side of the road that exit signs are located. It'll be the lane you need to be in. Some toothpaste has a little seal on them that needs to be removed before you can use them. Instead of peeling back the foil layer, the toothpaste lid has a little spike on the top just for this reason. Tostitos have a secret symbol hidden right in the middle of their name. The two T's in the middle of the logo resemble two people enjoying Tostitos over a bowl of salsa. The salsa bowl is in red and forms the dot in the I. One of the most recognizable figures in the world, the Statue of Liberty, for 16 years functioned as a fully operational lighthouse. However, the light was barely visible, even from Manhattan. In 1901, it was eventually decommissioned as a lighthouse. Tourists could even visit the torch for a stunning view of the city. But an accident damaged the Statue of Liberty's torch in 1916, and it's been closed to the public ever since. The Do Not Remove Under Penalty of Law tag on mattresses isn't put there for the consumer or void your warranty either if you do remove them. In the 1900s, manufacturers used to create the filling with basically anything. Animal hair, old hospital beds, or clothing. It didn't matter at the time. Strict laws created the tags to stop recycled materials from being used and sold as new. Good thing! Toyota's symbol is more than just some random rings combined. The three overlapping ovals symbolize the merge of the hearts of consumers and Toyota together. A California sushi roll is made of seaweed, rice, cucumber, avocado, and crab meat. But it's not crab meat at all. Surimi is an imitation crab meat. It's made of white fish blended with sugar instead of crustaceans. The fish mixture is then heated and pressed into shape. Golf balls are covered in dimples, rather than being perfectly round, so that the ball can fly through the air more smoothly decreasing the drag and allowing it to travel further and faster. Your makeup pads have two different sides for a reason. The bumpy side is used for applying makeup, while the flat side is for removing it. 
Donuts have holes so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy, while the outside was crisp. Your Apple laptop charger has tiny legs that can be folded out, and they're not there so your charger can stand up. These legs, when unfolded, allow you to wrap the cable around and then clamp it into place, securing it and preventing the cable getting tangled or damaged. Now take a look at a soda bottle, and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drink's fizz, stopping it from going flat. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking, should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube and the hole, which, when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. The zipper on leather biker jackets is often sewn diagonally. It's not just a fashion statement. Zips that are stitched vertically can bunch up if the wearer leans forward, but a diagonal zipper won't. That little triangle on your gas gauge is there to let you know which side of the car your gas cap is on. Now, you'll never pull up to the wrong side of the pump in a rental car again. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. Those tiny holes in the chocolate box tray actually serve a function. Push the hole near the candy and it'll pop straight out with you having to get your hands dirty. How thoughtful! Some skyscrapers have hollow floors that can contain nothing but an elevator. It's actually a way to get around height limits. Some skyscrapers are given a limit to the number of floors they can have. Because the hollow floors are empty, they add to the height of the building and make it look more impressive without increasing the number of floors and breaking the building contract. These hollow floors also help to prevent the spread of fires. Women's shirt buttons are traditionally on the left for a reason. Back in the day, it was a sign of wealth, as it signified that a chambermaid had dressed you, as having the buttons on the left made it easier for them to do up the shirt. Your cuticles serve a purpose, so think before you get rid of them. The small area of skin is there to protect your nails from infection. Without it, bacteria and fungi can get in. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, Cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. If you look closely at an elevator door, you'll notice a tiny hole. This is actually a keyhole used for emergencies or for routine maintenance checks. Those random buttons dotted across your jeans are called rivets and are placed in the weakest spots of the jeans to protect them from ripping due to strain or movement. The Statue of Liberty's crown has seven points for a reason. They represent the seven seas and seven continents and were added so that she could extend her freedom to everyone on Earth. Suitcases often come with two zippers so that you can connect them with a padlock to prevent theft. Salt isn't just used for cooking. It can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. If you're in a hurry to get somewhere but your phone is low on charge, Switch it to airplane mode while it's plugged in. It'll charge much faster. Men's shirts have a loop on the back so that they can be hung on a hook in a dressing room or a locker room without creasing. Vaseline has a hidden purpose. It's great for removing scuffs from patent leather shoes. It'll also shine them. Trunks have an emergency latch if you ever accidentally lock yourself in, like I do. Don't ask me why. If you fumble around to locate it, all you have to do is pull on it and the trunk should open. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. The digits on an egg can tell you a lot about the product. In many countries, there's a special labeling system. The first number indicates the method of production. The following two-letter code stands for the country where the egg was produced. And then you can find a registration number. It indicates the laying hen establishment. The first number in this code can vary from 0 to 3. 0 means it's an organic egg. 1, it's a free-range egg, which means it was produced by a hen that was allowed to wander around outdoors. 2 stands for an egg produced in a deep litter indoor housing. 3, you're about to buy a cage farming egg. 
A black band that runs along the edges of your windshield is called the frit. It's a baked-in ceramic paint that starts as solid black bands near the edge of the windshield. Then it dissolves into smaller dots. The frit makes the glass rougher, and the adhesive sticks to it better. The frit protects the urethane sealant. It's the substance that fixes the glass to the frame. It also prevents the sun's ultraviolet rays from melting the adhesive. As for the black dots, they help distribute the temperature in the car more evenly. They're aesthetically pleasing, too. Without them, the contrast between the glass and the dark band would be too obvious. If you see a pair of jeans with an extra loop, those are special jeans for cyclists. They're likely to belong to the commuter clothing line, and the loop's main purpose is to hold your bike lock. Many zipper sliders have outer rings, especially if such sliders are supposed to be used together. These rings are added so that you can connect the sliders with a lock and keep pickpockets away. Keyboards come with little legs. They were designed for you to be able to tilt your keyboard. This way, you can actually see which keys you're hitting. At the same time, a flat keyboard doesn't make your wrists so tired, and people who can type without looking at the keyboard don't need those legs whatsoever. An olive spoon is usually made of stainless steel and has a small hole cut in its bowl-shaped head. The main purpose of this utensil is to lift olives, cherries, pickled garlic, and other products from liquid-filled jars, cans, or bowls. The hole in the middle allows you to drain the liquid gathering in the spoon fast and easily. What'll they think of next? Donuts are shaped like rings because, otherwise, they get overdone at the edges and remain uncooked and gooey inside. Make a hole in the center, and both the outsides and the insides will be cooked at the same time. Round-shaped donuts with no holes are usually filled with custard, cream, or jelly. Mm. Such donuts don't have any corners, which means there are fewer weak spots for the filling to spurt out from. If you grab a full juice box a bit too firmly, you can get sticky liquid all over the place. To avoid such situations, flip up the tabs on the sides of the juice box. You can use them to hold your drink. Some cars have a tiny coffee cup sign on the dashboard. It's the vehicle's anti-drowsiness mechanism. Some manufacturers equip their cars with a drowsiness detection system. It analyzes the speed, wheel angle, and lane deviations and figures out if it's time for the driver to take a break. If it is, the vehicle makes several audio signals and the coffee cup sign starts to flash. Produce stickers on fruit and veggies you get at the supermarket are full of information. If there's a four-digit code on the sticker, the product was grown conventionally. In most cases, it also means that pesticides were used in the process. If the product is organic, its sticker has five digits, and the first one is nine. Genetically modified products also have a five-digit code, but the first number is eight. Sugar used to be sold in sugar loaves. Those were tall, hard cones. At those times, to get sugar ready for tea, people had to use special hammers to break a loaf apart first. After that, they cut the sugar into smaller and more nicely shaped lumps. Only in the middle of the 19th century, people invented the first press that cut sugar into cubes. This way, the product was easier to store and transport. A little hole in the end of your wrench can provide your screwdriver with some extra torque. Just slide the end with the hole over the screwdriver. You can also use this method when the angle is awkward. While driving, when it's already dark, you might get blinded by the headlights of the car moving behind yours. If you have a manual rearview mirror, find a tab at the bottom and flip it. The mirror has a reflective material behind its glass. By flipping the tab, you change the angle of this material, dimming the lights in the mirror. Most ice cream scoopers come in different colors. It has nothing to do with aesthetics. The color indicates the size of the scoop. This way, you can easily figure out how many scoops you'll need to fill 32 ounces. Wow, a 32-ounce sundae! Sign me up! Some caps on small tubes are hollow on top and have a little spike inside. Its purpose is to break the foil sticker sealing the tube. The neck fits right in this hole, and the spike is designed to break the seal. This way, you don't need to tear the tiny foil seal off with your fingers. The letter R in a circle on the product's packaging means that the trademark is officially registered. Once it's done, the trademark's owner has the right to place this letter on all their products. They can also sue anyone who tries to use their trademark. A gas pump usually has a small metal latch or hook on its handle. That's a trigger lock. 
you can use it to lock the handle in the open position. Then the gas will keep pumping even if you walk away. Coins used to be shaped randomly or have no shape whatsoever in the past. Dishonest people used it to their advantage. They stole valuable metals the coins were made of by chipping their corners off. It was illegal, and to prevent this kind of fraud, round coins were invented. After that, it became easy to instantly notice when a coin had been fiddled with. Those two holes in a lollipop stick are there to hold the candy in place. When the stick is dipped in hot liquid syrup, it flows into the holes and solidifies. Now your sweet is there to stay. Fabric squares that come with clothes are for you to try out your cleaning products on them first. This way, you won't ruin the entire item once you decide to wash it. The holes in the bottoms of earphones allow air to circulate up and through the speakers. It helps to increase low frequencies, making the bass sound deeper. The sound quality also becomes much better. Don't I sound better? Thank you! You can adjust your stapler so that it staples documents together only temporarily. It's done by rotating the crimp area. Most staplers have two options for stapling. One is standard, but the other side bends staples away from the center. Later, when you don't need them anymore, you can easily remove them by hand. If you store peanut butter jars upside down, the oil will move to the bottom and all the solids will be on top. Hey, don't laugh, that matters to some people. You don't want to get caught with your peanut butter down. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.